every book is amazing, but when the book in question reveals to us how companies around us have lied to us, then that book becomes a must read for all. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we'll give you guys a summary of the book Salt, Sugar, Fat. Yep, a book that finally revealed how the food industry had manipulated the public for so long. So let us begin the video. Michael Moss wrote Salt, Sugar, Fat. He's a Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporter who went behind the scenes into food labs, food companies, and in conversations with industry executives to get the scoop on the prevalence of salt, sugar, and fat in our foods and beverages, and why we just can't seem to resist them. The book is a description of the modern American food industry. Basically, food businesses remove nutritional components and replace them with less nutritious hazardous substances through industrial procedures. Salt, sugar, and fat are the main components of most processed meals, hence the name of the book. Manufacturers then market these items to customers, including youngsters, in the same way that cigarette companies market their products. Legal and political ramifications for the food sector might be equivalent to those experienced by cigarette corporations. Okay, so in this summary, we're going to cover some of the important ideas in this book. The first one is that humans are hardwired for sweets. According to this book, researchers proves that sugar is linked to compulsive eating. And in Florida, researchers were even able to condition rats to lunge at cheesecake after being zapped by electricity. Humans are lunging for sugar laden meals in colossal quantities, much like the rats lunging for the cheesecake. Taking into consideration the sugar found in processed foods and beverages, the average American consumes 22 teaspoons of sugar each day. So basically, each individual consumes 22 tablespoons of sugar every day. That's a total of 88 grams of sugar. Our bodies can only digest roughly 25 grams each day in a healthy manner. That's nearly 60 grams of sugar wasted, which is cluttering our body systems. That is a whole lot of something that you wouldn't want to move around in your body. Michael Moss then further goes into detail as to why it is so hard for us to resist these sweets. These large corporations, according to Moss, have gotten increasingly skilled in determining the exact amount of sweetness required to persuade people to buy more of their products. In fact, he explains there is something called the bliss point which is the precise quantity of sweetness we love in our meals and beverages. Moss even uses the example of David versus Goliath to explain how the system works, but in the case of sweets, Goliath knows your weakness. Moreover, Moss acknowledges the fact that fighting an army of food scientists and marketers who figured out the optimum bliss spot for the chocolate chip cookie you're trying so hard not to eat. It's no easy task. When you eat salt, sugar, fat, you will discover how important it is to strengthen your own defenses. If you want to cut down on sugar intake, sugar is found in almost every food you see in the store. Not just the obvious products like cookies and ice cream, basically, Sugar is generally one of the most common elements in modern culinary items. Whether it's bread, crackers, or even tomato sauce, most individuals are unaware of how widespread it is. Yet, if each of us consumes an average of 22 teaspoons of sugar every day, it must come from someplace. So if you're trying to cut down on your sugar intake, you want to pay special attention 
to all the added sugars that's hidden in your meals. You have to become a bit of a food detective and you should absolutely aim to lower your personal sweetness bliss point. Another important idea discussed in this book is the hidden evil that people probably most of us have stored in our homes. This evil is none other than soda. According to Moss, in nutrition circles where the causes of obesity are discussed, there is no single product among the 60,000 items sold in the grocery store that is considered more evil, more directly responsible for the crisis than soda. The problem, as growing numbers of nutritionists see it, is not the calories in soda. Though calories are ultimately what causes us to gain weight, rather, it is their form. Research suggests that our bodies are less aware of excessive intake when the calories are liquid. These sugars are included in most of the canned drinks that we take on a daily basis, including the supposedly healthy alternatives like fruit juice. Now, this revelation gains even more weight when you consider that Jeffrey Dunn, a senior executive at Coke, literally left the company because his views change on customer welfare. All of this happened when he read a book called Sugar Busters and later visited an impoverished neighborhood in Brazil. There he thought that the one thing that these people do not need is another Coke. He left the company soon after and used his skills to market carrots. Now soda and sugar aren't the only things discussed in this book. The book also focuses on cheese as a major source of obesity as it is the largest single source of saturated fat in the American diet. And on average, Americans are increasing their fat consumption by more than 50% every day. A fascinating portion of the Salt Sugar Fat book examines how our government supports the dairy business as well as the influence this has on our fat consumption. Michael Moss shows how the dairy sector faced a big challenge when high fat milk demand began to fall. When it came to losing weight, consumers began to switch to low-fat milk as a result, the dairy sector suddenly drowned in extra whole milk, as well as the fat that was being removed from whole milk to create skim milk. So instead of just letting profits fall, the dairy industry began to rely on the government and provided subsidies. And by 1981, these were worth around four billion per year. This book is an eye-opener on how unhealthy our lifestyles have become, particularly pertaining to our reliance on pre-packaged food. When the concept first came out, it was an instant hit. And why shouldn't it be? After all, it was so convenient. But according to Moss, convenience, of course, does have a price. Loads of salt, sugar, and fat are used not only to boost the allure of the foods, they are needed to make them safe for eating weeks or months after they were manufactured. This has led to an increase in childhood obesity, and diabetes is now becoming an ever-increasing issue. Now, if you think that the expose was over, you would be wrong. Salt is another common ingredient in our foods and kitchens and high quantities of it are not all healthy for you but in 2008 research it was discovered that salt like chocolate and carbs has got addictive qualities according to moss he tried to taste bread without salt and he literally gagged as it almost tasted like tin but there is a silver lining you can get rid of this addiction by keeping yourself away from processed foods for a while. The issue, according to salt, sugar, fat, is not the salt shaker, but rather the additional salt 
found in processed meals. Over three quarters of the salt ingested by participants came from the processed foods they were eating, according to research published in the Journal of American College of Nutrition in 1991. The firms who made these items were merely adding salt. Michael writes, they were pouring into their packaged macaroni and cheese, chicken a la king, heat and serve dinners, canned spaghetti and meatballs, salad dressing, tomato sauce, pizzas and soups. Now we may be wondering why companies would rely so much on salt. Well, to them, salt is the great fixer. Without salt, everything that you've been accustomed to would become uneatable, at least for a while. But the best news for you guys is that you are in control of what you eat. And by the time you have finished this highly engaging and recommended book, you will have some great strategies to incorporate into your life. So that was all the time we had, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.